I'm Mike Roggenfeller. Welcome to Hankook TV. We're at the Nürburgring, the most traditional racetrack in Germany, in the DTM, and for me too. Welcome to Hankook TV. I'm Peter Reichardt. We're at the Nürburgring, the most traditional racetrack in Germany. I grew up nearby. I've been here about 200 times, so I know quite a lot about the Nürburgring. I know this place inside out. I know a lot about the Nürburgring. I know more. No, I know more. The battle for the ring. Who knows more? Which one is the longest permanent racetrack worldwide? <laughs> What's the nickname of the Nürburgring? The Grüne Hölle. When was the Nürburgring built? 1922. Who won the first car race on the Nürburgring? Oh, come on, guys. Well, it was Rudolf Caracciola. What was the nickname of his winning car? The Red Pig. No, to put it differently, what was the white elephant? An Otto. <laughs> who was Otto Kreutz? To put it differently, who built the Nürburgring? Otto, Otto Kreutz. Kreutz, yay! Which Earl built the Nürburgring? Okay, a last easier one. Who's the exclusive tire partner of the DTM? Mike, we were no quiz heroes, but I would say it was your first win of the weekend. Now, go get your second. The typical Nürburgring weather forces Mike and the other drivers to put on Hankook rain tires. In a spectacular wet race on Saturday, Rocky gets no points. But the fans watch a lot of action on the track and in the pit lane. In the end, it's Lucas Auer that takes the victory. On the Sunday, it's dry, but there is not less action on the Hankook Slicks now. With a spin, Lucas Auer misses the chance to get the championship lead, while his Mercedes teammate Robert Wickens celebrates victory. That's all from the Nürburgring. See you in Spielberg, which I know really inside out. Well, I was there quite often too. Me? No, more often. Okay, but, well, let's battle there again. You have no chance. Oh, come on, really.